There are a lot of plant-based milks available at varying prices with different flavours, but they can all be made at home with everyday ingredients and equipment. I've been making homemade vegan milks for the last couple of years and they taste just as good as commercial milks. It's a lot cheaper to make it homemade and it also saves on unnecessary waste. There are loads of different ingredients you can use to make milks like soybeans, rice, various nuts and seeds as well as oats and coconut. But for this video I'm going to be making flax milk, coconut milk, oat milk and almond milk. You start by getting the dry ingredients. So for this I'm using oats, desiccated coconut, almonds and flax seeds. Depending on how thick and creamy you want the milk, you can switch up the proportions, but I'll include general quantities as a starting point in the description. When you've found a suitable container to soak the ingredients, add water so they're completely immersed. Different ingredients will need different times to soak, with things like oats needing less time and nuts needing longer, but just leaving them overnight will make sure they're properly soaked and ready to blend. Once you've done that, you just need to blend them up for about a minute or two. Having a more powerful blender is obviously better, but it works just fine using a cheaper one. Next you need to filter the milk so it's smooth to drink and use. It's a lot easier and more reliable to use a nut milk bag or some muslin cloth, but for the sake of this video I'm using some everyday sieves to achieve the same effect. You can use the leftover bits to make another meal. Here I've combined the oats, almonds, coconut and flax seeds and added raisins, cocoa powder and maple syrup to make overnight oats. The next day I made some banana ice cream with frozen bananas and almond milk to make breakfast. You can add extra ingredients like vanilla essence, cocoa powder, maple syrup or sugar and salt for extra flavour, but there's no need to do this if you want them unsweetened. So that's how you make vegan milks. In terms of storing them it's best to put them in the fridge in a glass bottle so that you can shake them before use. If you want more information about why we should avoid dairy milk, check out the videos linked below, and I'll see you in the next video.